If you want to attach, attach four different groups to a carbon atom, there are going to be two different ways to do it. These two resulting molecules are each other's mirror images, and they are not superimposable. They are different molecules. The carbons here are termed chiral centers, and the pair of mirror image molecules are each other's enantiomers. You get chiral centers anywhere you have a carbon with four distinct groups attached to it. Usually, we see this in organic molecules. Enantiomers have identical physical properties to one another, and the pathways to make them often aren't selective, they make for semic mixtures. But enantiomers can have distinct biological properties. This becomes relevant in how it affects pharmaceutical activity. When it comes to pharmacology, oftentimes a drug's enantiomer has no relevant biological activity. In this case, the product on the market usually just includes both enantiomers. Since it is usually quite challenging to separate enantiomers from one another, due to their identical physical properties. But sometimes the presence of one enantiomer can interfere with the efficacy or safety of a drug, and steps are taken to create a product with only one of the enantiomers. In many cases, both the racemic mixture and the enantiomerically pure drug are available on the market. In this case, the latter is known as a chiral switch. Here are some examples. Chiral switches are sometimes brought to market before any definitive advantage over the racemate has even been proven. Why is this? Pharma companies sometimes use chiral switches for the sake of evergreen, in which the patent life of a product is extended in order to keep generic alternatives off the market. This practice quashes competition and results in higher drug prices, though some argue that it's important to defend intellectual property in this way to encourage research and development of new and improved pharmaceuticals. Finally, as an aside, one way you can identify chiral switches is by their names, which tend to have one of the four following prefixes, levo, dexy, S or R, which come from the nomenclature that is used to name chiral compounds.